Dora and I'm the Children's Education Director at Trinity United Methodist Church and today is a great day to learn more about Jesus so let's get started. Um, first of all let's talk a little bit about our new Sunday School program. We'll be starting June 6th and we'll meet about two times a month during the summer and then we'll open up to weekly classes in this fall. Um, we'll be meeting at 10 in the morning between the two services and we want to include everyone from littles all the way up to senior citizens. Each class is going to expand upon um, whatever the current sermon is, but we'll offer a casual and fun and unique way to look at things. Um, we're hoping that incorporating this diverse age group will allow us all to learn from each other. So we're really excited about it. Um, please keep this ministry in your prayers for ways that you can participate and support it. I believe God has big, big things in store for us in this class, all right? So now let's get started on today's lesson about Pentecost. Pentecost means 50th, and it happens the 50th day after Easter. It's a very, very special day in the church because it celebrates when the Holy Spirit came to the disciples after Jesus had ascended into heaven, all right? So last week we talked about how Jesus um, said God would send us a special present it would help them share the good news of Jesus with everyone. So here we have a present. It says right here, open on Pentecost. This kind of looks like a birthday present, and it kind of is a birthday present. It'll help us to celebrate the birthday of the church. All right, back in the time of Jesus, there was a feast called the Feast of Tabernacles. So Jewish pe people from all over the world would come to Jerusalem and celebrate this special feast, all right? And all those people had different traditions and they spoke different languages, all right? So the disciples were hanging out, waiting in a room, when all of a sudden they heard a loud rushing wind coming in the room, which certainly got all their attention. And then there were little tongues of fire. that were on top of everyone's heads. These little flames didn't burn them. They were just sitting on top of their heads, all right? A lot of times God has appeared as a fly, fire or flame, like Moses in the burning bush or Elijah when he came down as fire. So this fire was the gift that we talked about earlier. This was the Holy Spirit, all right? They were so excited that they jumped up and went to tell all the people gathered in town about it. But remember, these people were from a lot of different countries and they spoke different languages. But guess what? When the Holy Spirit was in them, they were able to speak in all of those languages all of a sudden. They didn't have Google Translate. They didn't have a um, Spanish to English dictionary. You know, that's what my kids always had to have in school, right? They didn't have any of that. They were just immediately able to speak in those other languages. Um, some people thought they were being silly or maybe they had too much to drink. But Peter stood up and said, this is what Jesus promised. He told us this was gonna happen. Jesus was crucified, dead, and was buried, but he rose again, didn't he? Yeah. So he told us that he would have the Holy, we would have that Holy Spirit so we could um, have the ability to share this good news of Jesus Christ with everyone, all right? Now, now comes the best part of this gift. The disciples shared with the people in the crowd and those people shared and then they shared with more people and then they started to come together to learn more about Jesus and to worship and guess, guess what that's how the church was born all right so uh, Pentecost is the day we celebrate that birth of the church all right um, even though this happened a long long time ago today we as Christians still get to tell other people about Jesus isn't that exciting so when you take your light of Jesus or you have the Holy Spirit, all right? And you um, you can take that and enable someone else to shine for Jesus. So you can share your light, right? And guess what? When we share our, our love of Jesus and our light for Jesus, it doesn't diminish our light at all. Our light will still burn bright, but we're giving other people the opportunity to learn 
the good news. And I think that is super duper exciting. And what is a birthday without a few burning candles? All right, so let's bow our heads and we're gonna say a prayer to, to, together today. I'm gonna say a line and then you guys can repeat after me, all right? Dear God, thank you for the church. Thank you for Pentecost. Thank you for Jesus and for the Holy Spirit. Help us to use it, to share your love with one another. We love you just so very much, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good job, everyone. All right, at Trinity, each week we love to send you away with a special blessing, and we would like for you to join with us today. All right? In all that we think, in all that we say, in all that we do, may we glorify you. God bless everyone. Have a great day celebrating Pentecost and happy birthday church. Bye-bye.